do is calibrate the flow meter. We've got a 15 16 smooth bore. We know at 50 pounds that's 185 gallon a minute. We're going to pedo that, to make sure we got 50 pounds. The flow meter should read 185. If it doesn't, we calibrate the flow meter so that we know that right out of the box we're all good to go on our test. Once that's done, we'll shut this line down, we'll put your nozzle on, we're going to flow your numbers. Then we're going to flow 200 GPM to get a second baseline number so you know what it takes to meet that standard. After that, we're going to do a hose kink test. Then we're going to swap to our product and do some tests with it. Everybody clear what we're going to do? I'm ready for water. I'm ready for water. Just a quick little trick. Where's our probe at? If you're on the nozzle, hold the bail all the time. Leave it cracked open a little bit. You know why? There's your relief valve when the engineer sends you a whole boatload of pressure real fast. And that way it's not going to knock your teeth out. If you leave it closed, it's going to stop right there. It's going to hammer, and that's where people get hurt. We're looking for 50 pounds of pedo pressure. looking for is 185 gallon a minute. Reading high, we're going to calibrate it. There's a code to go into it. Three, two, one, it gets you into a calibration mode. Our 2.5 is our flow meter tube. We accept that as our tube size and then the number we want is 185 and you program it to calibrate it. Gotcha. We're flowing 185 at 50 pounds. Flow meters gotcha. calibrated. So now we know every test hereafter we've got an accurate baseline. Let's see how far you can get it to reach. Right. Pick that hose up just like a horseshoe and put a kink in it. Now I've got 100 psi. So it may or may not be easy. You get to decide on both tests. So pick it up like a big old horseshoe in front of you and put a kink in it. Was that hard? Not really. Kink or good? All right, your kink. Look at that muscle. Hello? Look at those muscles. That's what your kink does. That's a kink. Yeah, over half. Yeah. If you're the nozzleman. The only way you can ever control your line is if you got a hold of the shutoff. Okay. If you want, if something goes ugly, shut it off. If you don't have a hold of it, your instinct's going to be to grab everything you're holding and hold tight. If you do that, you lay down. It's all on. It. As soon as you lower your center of gravity, it's a lot easier to hold. Oh, 
Don't hurt you. Pounds, you can't kick the hose. Let me try it. Oh, it's just like it. Oh, it's just like Even with kicking that hose, our GPM out there was still 250 GPM running through there. So I think it's because of the volume of water running through this hose is not allowing you whether it's nozzle pressure or not. That volume of water running through there, even with a low nozzle reaction, is not allowing that hose to kink off, which I never would have thought. All right, Mike, go ahead and uh, climb it up to 250 psi. Just go pressure. Okay, 250 psi. Okay, at 250 psi, we're getting 373 gallon per minute, and our nozzle pressure is at 45 psi. Also, Class A foam. We're going to do uh, Class A foam at 0.2 percent, and we're running at idle pressure. Party. Can you throw it up? Nice. Hey Brennan, go play in it. It's snow. Oh, it's snow, bud. We're flowing that foam strictly at hydrant pressure. Uh, what, what kind of I don't of think deal? you want to see it at 200. Inline yes. deal. Four other firefighters have already been through their depositions. They've been through their testimony in a court case. Your child is at the end of the hallway. There's fire between you and the fire. Or there's fire between you and your child, what are you going to tell your pump operator to pump? I'm going to tell him to give me as much water as he can give me. Okay. What would you do? Give me all the It's our got. kids. Yeah. Natural instinct is to say, I want it all. Right. But the challenge comes with that answer. The SOP was what everybody else said we do. And they really? lawyers will twist that answer to say, oh, so you would do more for your kid than you would mine. So think about how you answer the question, and now with the, the sheet we have, you have a documented evidence that you've tested your flows, and when somebody says, what do you flow and what do you pump, you pull it out of the file cabinet, you go, this is what we pump, this is how we know we're flowing this number. It's no more, I don't know. All the guesswork's been taken out of it. Trick question. But that's what lawyers do to us.